When Melinda met Robert, she was skeptical of his charming nature, but couldn't deny how attracted she was to him. Once they fell in love, Melinda molded herself into everything he wanted her to be. She sacrificed for him, worked to support his grandiose dreams, and put up with him for better or for worse. Then, one day she realized that, after all she had done, another woman was reaping the lavish rewards. That's when Melinda lost it, and now she cannot let it go. Before we begin, please subscribe, comment, and punch in the like button. It's very helpful for the channel. Thank you! Now, let's get started. The movie begins with a court scene, the judge admonishing Melinda for her behavior and advising her to attend therapy to avoid harsher consequences such as jail time. She glares at the other side of the courtroom and has to be nudged by her attorney to reply she understands. She attends a therapy session resentful at having to be there and begins telling her story of betrayal to the court-appointed counselor. She begins by describing how she met Robert as they crashed into each other on campus. Their schoolwork gets exchanged accidentally and Robert locates her dorm room to return her papers to her and reclaim his own. There is an instant attraction and he offers to help her with her paper as he's already taken the class. And they begin working together and seeing each other. Melinda fails the assignment and as she's telling Robert about the sacrifice her mother is making to send her to school she sees her two sisters walk up. They give her the news that her mother has passed away. Robert comes to the house after the funeral services and her sisters give him the interrogation introducing him to Melinda's ex-boyfriend from high school. Robert leaves to return home appearing to feel out of place but Melinda runs after him and offers to drive him home. She takes him to an old RV he says he lives in that is housed in the driveway of his aunt. They talk and eventually walk into the bedroom where she advises us she loses her virginity. They are a couple now and Melinda has left her mother's house and $350,000 in insurance that her sisters advise her not to tell Robert about but by then she has. On one of their dates he tells her that he plans to sell a battery he's invented that will be revolutionary. But he's concerned when the company he has been trying to sell it to contacts him he will have no way of making it to their office as he has no transportation. Melinda believes it's her responsibility to purchase him a car to ensure whenever that call comes he will be able to get there. But she notices almost immediately that the frequency of his calls become less and less. And she begins to suspect he may be cheating on her. She drives over to his RV and sees a hand pressed against the window and hears the sounds of lovemaking. Quite naturally she turns her jeep around and rams it several times into the side of the RV until it falls on its side. Robert escapes through the bedroom window and pulls a young girl out who we later learn is Diana. Melinda throws a brick through the window of the car she purchased and passed out. She explains that when she was driving the jeep into the RV she also hit her abdomen on the steering wheel causing internal injuries, internal bleeding and forcing her to have a hysterectomy. Robert attempts to see her in the hospital but her watchdog sisters tell him to leave as they blame him for what happened to their baby sister. Her friend Sarah promises to let him know how she is. When Melinda comes home from the hospital to convalesce Robert calls out to her from outside and her sisters are livid. She begs them to let her see him so she can find out why he did this to her. He comes in and apologizes telling her that the girl meant nothing to him and he has no idea why he did that but he would never do it again. Melinda forgives him and they start back to seeing each other. On another date Robert lets her know he will not have the money to complete his last two semesters and she opens her checkbook up at the bursar's office to pay his tuition. They get married and her money from her mother dwindles down to nothing. Robert has a felony from when he was a teenager and has difficulty finding work with a record. Everything they have goes into his battery invention and Melinda works two jobs and mortgages the house to support him. Eighteen years later the house is about to be foreclosed and the company Robert has been sending videos and letters to every week all these years still hasn't responded to him. He finds out that Diana from college has become an admin to the president of the company and he seeks her guidance on what to do. 
Melinda's sisters come to the house to confront her about the foreclosure and her brothers-in-law offer Robert a job. They have a significant client that will pay for their delivery service in advance if they just comply with his delivery requirements. They explain that they will give the money to Robert and Melinda to keep the house in exchange for him working for them. Robert agrees but tells Melinda he's disappointed she didn't defend him to her family. Robert is now a delivery driver for his brother-in-law's business and loading his truck for the day. Robert has some deliveries to make meanwhile Brenda finds Diana's wallet in his truck. Diana while going through Robert's file hopes that Prescott will review his materials. She forwards Robert's materials to Mr. Prescott who wants to meet him the same day and almost the same time he has delivery to make. Diana calls Robert to fix an impromptu appointment. Robert shuns the delivery for the appointment with Prescott. He returns back to the house just in time to retrieve his battery from the bin men. Meanwhile Melinda's sisters tell Melinda that Robert is cheating on her after finding Diane's wallet in the truck. Both Calvin and Casey are mad at Robert for not going to make deliveries as planned, they go over to the house to collect the key to the truck from him. Robert tries to rush to Prescott Company for his appointment but Melinda wouldn't let him go. She accuses Robert of cheating on her with Diana and fights him over it. Melinda's sisters pull her away from Robert, finally enabling Robert leave for his appointment with Mr. Prescott. Robert returns Diana's wallet to her and explains what transpired between him and his wife. Meanwhile, Robert seems to be losing his confidence after what just transpired between him and his wife, but Diana is able to put him back in order and spur him into action. Robert finally meets with Mr. Prescott, and he delivers his pitch. Mr. Prescott is impressed with Robert's work and offers him $800,000 to buy his works, but he turns it down saying he wants to own the copyright. Robert leaves the gathering while Diana goes after him trying to convince him to take Prescott's offer as well as apologizing for causing friction in his home. Brenda and June's husbands Calvin and Casey are at Melinda's place to console her even though they already lost the client and are unable to get the money to save Melinda's house. Robert returns home to see Melinda's family. He explains his encounter with Prescott to them, Brenda thinks he is lying while Calvin says he should have collected the money likewise Melinda. Melinda sends him away and tells him that she wants a divorce. Robert goes to the boardroom and is offered $700,000 for the battery and all the rights to the research. He is devastated. He believes his work is worth millions and wants to keep his licenses and copyright. He turns it down and goes home to tell Melinda what happened. She's in the living room smoking a cigarette surrounded by her sisters and brother-in-laws. She tells him it's over and has all his possessions in a pile on the floor. He begs her to believe him that he hasn't been unfaithful and tells her about the offer. But she tells him to leave. Melinda loses the house and has to move in with her sister. Robert moves into a shelter and lies about his felony to get a job as a dishwasher. Melinda begins dating her boyfriend from high school and on one of their dates sees Robert washing dishes in the kitchen. They go to the attorney's office to sign the papers, Robert again asks her not to do this, but she refuses to speak to him. While at work one day Robert gets a call from Diana asking why she can't reach him. He tells her his phone was stolen and that he's living in a shelter. She tells him she's coming to get him. He begins staying with her and one day she comes home from work with paperwork and a check for $75 million. The company met his demands and paid for his work. Robert comes to Melinda's job with roses and apologizes for everything. Gives her a check for $10 million and the keys and deeds to her mom's house. He tells her he loves her. She returns home to her sister's house and they are all there with her high school boyfriend. She shows them the check and blames her sisters for causing her to lose everything. She insults everyone and goes to her bedroom. Robert is in his apartment overlooking the city in a tux and there's a knock at the door. It's Melinda. 
She thought that his visit meant he was still in love with her and she tells him she still loves him and opens her coat to reveal lingerie. Diana enters the room and introduces herself as his fiancé. Melinda leaves and begins stalking them online. She's now back in her mother's home with a mattress on the floor and a table with a laptop surrounded by empty liquor bottles. She takes Robert to court demanding more money and the judge tells her that Robert has been extremely generous and he throws out the case. She finds out where Diana's wedding dress is and goes to the shop pouring acid all over it. We return to court where the first scene began and she learns that Diana and Robert are expecting a child. Melinda's sisters ask Robert and Diana over to warn them that Melinda is dangerous. She comes over while they are there and becomes irate that they have the two of them at their home. She drives away angrily. Back at home still stalking them online she sees they are getting married and have purchased a yacht. As soon as they exit the court, Melinda makes a live video to disparage Robert and Diana and posts it online. Meanwhile Sarah tries to calm her down and also warn her about how she is going about things, but she shuns her. Melinda's family tries to caution Gail and Diana on how to go about their forthcoming wedding at Melinda's house. They advise them to get enough security during their wedding in case Melinda tries to create a scene. Melinda returns home and finds Diana and Gail at her place and this makes her go bizarre again. Melinda goes to the boutique to ruin Diana's wedding dress by pouring acid in it. The judge again warns her to stay away from Gail and Diana or risk spending 40 days in jail. Melinda finishes recounting her story to the therapist and then walks out. Robert and Diana get married and sail away on their yacht. They have a full staff waiting on them and they are lying under the stars. Diana goes below deck to rent a bath and Robert stays on deck to listen to Nina Simone and finish his champagne. Melinda walks out wearing Diana's wedding dress and wielding a gun. She orders the staff to jump into the water and for Robert to go with her to tell Diana it's over. Melinda in her rage shoots him in the abdomen. Diana hears the shot and runs out to see Melinda with the gun. She runs away and Melinda runs after her demanding Diana give her the wedding ring. Melinda feels that the apartment, yacht, ring and Robert all belong to her. Robert pushes her off the boat to save Diana and orders Diana to turn their yacht off and take the small boat to save the crew. Melinda returns soaking wet and grabs an axe. She follows a bleeding Robert to the front and steps into the chains of the anchor, lifting the axe and bringing it down on Robert's leg. Just as she is about to do it again, Robert presses the anchor release and drops anchor pulling the chain Melinda stepped in causing it to pull her off the boat and into the water. She drowns. Diana and the crew return and begin to help Robert before the movie ends. Thank you for watching.